In this tutorial, I'm going to review how users of Tracer IFC can use our IFC processor to combine multiple IFC files into a single SQLite database. This process would allow you to merge the data between these IFC files into a single database environment so you can start to do analysis across these different models. In this case, I have a collection of four IFC files uh, that were generated uh, from a transportation project uh, indicating some overpass typologies. So what I want to do is I want to use Tracer IFC to process these models and create a database with them. So what I'm going to do is open Tracer IFC and I'm going to navigate to my first file and I'm going to go ahead and click the overpass two lane here. And I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And you can see that Tracer IFC is going to open it up and it's going to indicate um, element counts for different IFC categories. And I can just simply hit export at this point. Um, it'll prompt me to create a database. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call this the merged IFC database. And I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And what this is going to do is it's going to process that IFC file. And you can see that we now have a database file that's been created in the same directory as these overpass models. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the second model here. And I'm going to click uh, on this two lane with the median. And I'm going to open that up. And that's going to give me some information about that model. And I'm going to go ahead and click export. And instead of choosing to make a new database, I'm going to go ahead and select that existing one. And it's going to prompt me to say that the database already exists. I'm going to hit yes. And then a message is going to pop up that indicates, do you want to add this data to the existing database? So because this database already exists in this location, I have the option to add the data to the existing database file. Um, if I click no, it will simply replace the database entirely with this new data. In this case, I want to click yes. So I'm going to click yes. And this is now going to write that data to that same database. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and work through my other two models here. So I'm going to pick the third model. And it's going to open up give me some new information, I'm gonna hit export. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop this into the same merged database. And click yes, of course, and it's gonna process that again. And finally, I'm gonna do the fourth one. And same steps, click export, merged IFC database, save, and yes, and yes. And now that I have these four IFC proce files processed into the merged IFC database, I can take this into a place like Power BI and analyze all four models together. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Power BI here. And I'm going to open up one of our templates that we have provided with um, Tracer IFC. Um, and I'm just gonna open up the blank report because I wanna build up a visual from scratch here in Power BI. And I'm gonna click open. And it's going to ask me for a location for the um, IFC uh, database file that we just created. So we'll let Power BI open up here. And with this template open, I can now copy and paste the path to that database file containing the IFC data. So I'm going to go ahead and find my database file. I'm going to do a shift right click and do a copy as path. And I'm simply going to paste that in to this report and hit load. And what this is going to do is it's going to reach into that database file and find some information. When you connect into a database for the first time, you will likely be prompted to um, confirm your ODBC driver connection settings. In this case, I can simply just go up to Windows um, and use my current credentials since these database files do not require any special authentication. So I'm going to go ahead and connect in. And we'll now see this data start to load up. And this blank template is set up to just provide a, essentially a blank slate uh, with the visual loaded in. You'll also see that a generic table is set up in the upper left-hand corner that shows the four models that have been processed as a set of records into this database. So we have this document info. And what I want to do is now visualize these four IFC files in the same dashboard report. So I'm going to go ahead and activate my Tracer 3D visual and I'll go ahead and stretch this out so we can see it 
pretty clearly on the screen here. And I'm going to go ahead and go to my elements uh, table and I'm going to find the mesh uh, column. So what I'm going to do then is take this mesh and put it into the geometry or ID field. And it's going to render all four IFC files on top of one another. You can see they're all kind of located in the same spot here. Um, it's a set of overpass models uh, for a transportation project. Uh, but what I can do here is also um, segment my views uh, within this visual so I can see all four models in parallel. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to the document tab and I'm going to use the document name to control the view of this visual. And what this is going to do is it's going to generate four views representing the four different documents. So now we can see um, all four uh, models for these overpasses um, in parallel uh, contained within a single database environment. So hopefully this workflow can provide another option for kind of aggregating and merging IFC model data into a single database location in the SQLite database file, and then it allows you to perform this kind of uh, cross-model uh, visualization and analysis in places like Power BI.